Refreshing Resilience, the story of Coca-Cola Company. Here is the fascinating story of Coca-Cola, the legendary soft drink that has mesmerized people across the globe for more than a hundred years. A pharmacist from Atlanta, Georgia named Dr. John Pemberton came up with the idea for Coca-Cola in 1886. At first, it was just a patent medicine to treat headaches and exhaustion. When Pemberton first imagined his creation, he had no idea it would grow into a globally beloved and famous brand. Despite its humble origins, it swiftly became a household name, transversing across the US and beyond. The unique taste and fizz of Coca-Cola won over customers all over the world, and the soft drink quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Coca-Cola, however, is more than simply a drink. It's an emblem of happiness, refreshment, and togetherness. The product has become an integral part of our culture, reaching people all over the world with its enduring logos, catchy slogans, and legendary advertising campaigns. Throughout its history, Coca-Cola has remained steadfast in its commitment to quality, community, and sustainability, even as it has introduced new products and projects. It is a modern-day example of how one good concept can have a profound effect when spread over the world in the form of a delightful beverage. Come explore the intriguing history of Coca-Cola with us, a drink that symbolizes the joy of living, loving, and chasing after happiness with every sip. The history of Coca-Cola founder Pemberton was a southerner who served his country well throughout the Civil War, eventually becoming a lieutenant colonel. After the war, he settled in Atlanta, and ran the Pemberton Chemical Co. His laboratory, while also marketing patent medicines, he peddled a variety of goods, including Pemberton's French wine coca, a concoction of wine and coca extract that was supposedly effective in treating headaches, neurological disorders, and other aches and pains. The beverage bore a striking resemblance to Vin Mariani, a wildly successful coca-based cocktail created in 1863 in Paris. In 1885, Pemberton altered the recipe and started selling solely the coca syrup after Atlanta banned the sale of alcohol that same year. In a brass kettle in his backyard, Pemberton combined what would later become Coca-Cola with a variant of the syrup. Instead of wine, he added sugar for sweetness and cocaine and cola nut extracts which are high in caffeine, to get a feel-good mixture. Pemberton brought it to the adjacent Jacobs Pharmacy. It was there that carbonated water was added to make soda, marketing it as a brain tonic and praising it as the perfect beverage for moderation was the plan. It was in Atlanta, Georgia on May 8, 1886, when the world's most famous taste was born. The local pharmacist Dr. John Stith Pemberton did the syrup for Coca-Cola. He took a jug of the new product to Jacob's Pharmacy, where it was tried and declared excellent. After that, it was put on sale as a soda fountain drink for five cents a glass. The new syrup was combined with carbonated water to create a drink that was both delicious and refreshing, a statement that is still echoed today in every place where Coca-Cola is had. The Tassies would look well in advertising, Frank M. Robinson, who was Dr. Pemberton's bookkeeper and business partner, thought, and proposed the name Coca-Cola. Robinson then used his distinctive handwriting to draw the logo. The Atlanta Journal published the initial Coca-Cola newspaper ad, which enticed individuals who were thirsty to sample the new and popular soda fountain drink. The new soda fountain refreshment was announced to pedestrians by hand-painted oilcloth signs that stated Coca-Cola, and had the word drink added to them. These signs were displayed on store awnings. Sales were quite low in the first year, averaging only nine drinks daily. The drink, together with Pemberton's work in medical reform and chemistry, is what makes him famous. His laboratory was the first of its kind in Georgia to evaluate soil and crop chemicals, and he also held the positions of trustee at Emory University's old medical school and member of the state's first pharmacy licensure board. The Department of Agriculture in Georgia is still running it. Unfortunately, the beverage's potential was never appreciated by Dr. Pemberton. He sold off parts of his firm 
to several partners over time, and sold his last stake in Coca-Cola, to Asa G. Candler right before he passed away in 1888. The business-savvy Atlanta native, Mr. Candler, went on to purchase more shares and eventually took over the company. Current business structure, Coke is a publicly listed corporation, with a chief executive officer, board of directors, and chair as its highest level of management. The company's stock is traded on the co-market, through a licensing arrangement with regional bottlers and distributors. The business operates in four distinct geographic divisions, with an annual dividend increase going back more than 60 years. Coca-Cola is a firm that has grown and stayed the same for quite some time, that puts it in the elite group of dividend kings, defined as companies that have increased their dividend payment each year for half a century or more. Challenges faced by the company throughout its history, Coca-Cola has encountered numerous obstacles. Despite its worldwide popularity, the corporation has had to navigate some rough waters due to heightened competition in the beverage industry and controversy concerning its ingredients and marketing strategies. Coca-Cola has rethought its production processes and sustainability initiatives in light of growing public concern about the effects of sugary drinks on human health and the environment. Additionally, the company has been forced to expand its product offerings and react to developing market demands due to changing consumer tastes, which are being driven by a growing emphasis on health and wellness. All the while, the famous brand image has been maintained. Regulatory complexity and geopolitical volatility in the areas where it operates are too internal. Obstacles that Coca-Cola has had to overcome alongside external pressures. Labeling rules and taxation policies are only two examples of the complex web of regulations that a business must navigate. In addition, global political and economic turmoil and the effect Coca-Cola's worldwide operations. Therefore, the company needs to be ready with flexible plans to deal with any problems that may arise. Coke has been able to remain at the top of the beverage market, despite all of these problems because e of its unwavering dedication to innovation, sustainability, and customer happiness, the current state of Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola company has a market cap or net worth of $259.31 billion as of March 19, 2024. Its market cap has increased by 1.2% in one year. This company has a significant market share on the non-alcoholic beverage sector because to its effective marketing, research, and innovation strategies, as well as its high brand equity, the business is investing in more healthful options, including sparkling water, coffee, and sports drinks. Some additions along these lines include the introduction of Coca-Cola Energy, Coca-Cola Plus Coffee, Powerade Ultra, and Powerade Power Water. The firm offers a variety of beverage items, from energy drinks to sodas. Independent bottling partners make, sell, and distribute the majority of the company's drinks. Currently, the company has branches in Europe, Middle East, and Africa, Latin America, North America, Asia Pacific, Global Ventures, Bottling Investments, and Corporates are the categories under which Coca-Cola discloses operational performance. In summary, Coca-Cola's history is proof of adaptability and resiliency in the face of adversity. From its modest origins as a patent medication to its present position as, as the world's most powerful beverage, Coca-Cola has shown inventiveness and agility in navigating challenges, competition, and shifting customer tastes. The company's steadfast adherence to its fundamental principles of excellence community involvement, and sustainability has enabled it to maintain its significance in a constantly changing and dynamic market. Coca-Cola's history serves as a reminder of the lasting ability of a refreshing beverage to bring people together and brighten countless lives worldwide, even as it looks to the future. I hope you find this video enjoyable and educative. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.